exciting as today was. Maybe the Broncos will win after all. Um, hey, that just goes to show you got to play. Whoever plays, it's the best players don't always win. It's the players that play best. You're allowed to use that quote. And they played harder and better than we did today, and that's the truth. I'm an honest guy. It was a very good game. It was an exciting game. We did some good things. We fought back. I'm proud of our team. We had a quick turnaround. We had a, we had a really quick turnaround, you know, Friday night game into Sunday. But we came down the night before and rested, so everything's fine. Um, we just we got beat. We were down. We, we had a three point lead, and the play of the game I thought was three point lead. Khalid Hart comes off the screen wide open. It's a three. Back to the tie game. That's my fault. I'm the coach. I haven't gone over that enough. Even though I've, I went over that the very first day of practice, the very first thing we do, how we defend the ball screens. We either, we either hedge hard, we, we six it, which is switching it, or we 22, which is trap it. We did none of the three. That's why we're getting a B this year. You know, we're a really good program. I'm really proud of our team. We're doing really good. But like Mamas, the king of the, the, king of the league, because they do everything every game. They play hard with enthusiasm, with passion, and listen to the game plan every game. We're close, but we float, and I don't want to use Marquise as an excuse. Nico Claire, unbelievable performance, tried to do it for us. You know, his three didn't go at the end, at least he had the guts to take it. But at the end of the day, they played harder and wanted to win more than we do, and I've been in the MAC a long time. That will serve you well. I, I had a brunch before, and I said, Mike's the right guy. He's doing well. They had a lot of close games. Things are going, they're just right there, you know. And then Khalid Hart makes a three like he's done before. Um, they get to the foul line. We miss a layup. How many times do we drop balls today? I, I, I was like, lay it in, get in defense. We dropped it out of bounds. It was their ball. So they won. They deserved to win. There was nothing wrong. It was a good game. It was a real good game. We just came up short. I'll take any questions. Do you think, Jimmy, is it natural to wonder if your team might have underestimated Marist? I did. You can ask them. You're allowed to ask them. I did not underestimate Marist. In other words, you can ask them. What do you think, Nico? Um... I think there were a few times that we didn't play Sienna basketball, um, and whenever you get that, you got this is a league where you have to play 100% of the time, and uh, those 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 short times where we didn't play Sienna basketball caught up to us at the end. To what degree is this kind of a learning experience for your team? Uh, we've had plenty of learning experiences, and this is uh, just just right on top of the the last one, I guess. Um, yeah. I think um, Monmouth on the road was alert. We weren't ready to go. We were down 12. We've talked about some games we've lost and some games that we've given away. Some games we had chances to win and didn't. At Monmouth, at Wisconsin, at St. Peter's, at Manhattan. The first thing I talked about before the game was we beat Manhattan by a bunch of points, went down and played them and lost. This is one of those games. Don't worry about what the score of the last game was. Khalid Hart's the best guard in the league, you know, scoring the most points. And Parker's going for freshman of the year just like him. Those two guys, I don't, I didn't see the box, but I bet you they had the most points for them. So, does anybody have a box score? Yes. How many did they? How many did Parker have? Twenty-four. Oh, and how many did Hart have? Seventeen. Jimmy's right again. Parker had twenty-four. You know, I guess I didn't stretch. Mark, you've known me a long time. I'm putting Parker and Hart on the board, and I can't, I can't, I can't. Khalid Hart makes the shot of the game, coming up, woman down three, and Parker has twenty-four. The one that Paulson hit to put them ahead is yeah, a little step back. That was a little. The fact that all he basically does is take three is a little irksome to you that you would actually get a decent look. Yeah, nice with irksome. Um, yeah, but I'll tell you what, I saw the last part of that play, and I know I wanted to see if he could get his, you know, I wanted to give us a little rest. I thought maybe his foot was on the line, but he went up to shoot it, and I saw uh, one of our guards, and I won't name him, it wasn't you, Nico. He was about from me to you, and he went up, and one of our guards just looked at him and said, I hope he misses. Really? Okay. Because I've said, it's funny, who's ever been here a while has heard me say this. The millennials, let's just reset the old Xbox and play again. I told you it doesn't work that way. I'm, I'm trying. I'll do the best I can. I'm not mad at the team. We're very. I give A's, B's, C's, and D's. I've told you that. No plus and minuses. We're getting a B. We continue to get a B. We're not. I'm not going to give our team a grade of A until we fight for 40 minutes every time we play with a really healthy attitude. We're not. We're like 32 minutes a game, and that's why Mama's a better team than us. That's why Mama's the team to beat, and that's why they beat us twice. Where do you think the team's attitude was today? Uh, you Excuse Where do you think the team's attitude was today? How was the team's it wasn't bad, but it wasn't overly excited, would you say? Uh, it's not good enough. We didn't win, so it's not good enough. Not good enough. Um, played a lot of zone tonight, Jimmy. Although you did switch to man near the end of the game. Uh, was that the yeah, worry about Garden, you, Hart, and Parker? I told you, I'm honest guy. You, you're around as much as I am. I told you we're going to play well. Right. And why was that? 
because we're not that quick a team defense. I mean, our, because our point guard, Jerry Tarkanian, Jerry Tarkanian, pressing coach, good friend of mine. I miss him. He's a good guy. Gary Williams, Mike Krzyzewski with Wojo. But Tark was the one that, your pressure defense starts with a point guard that can apply pressure. We don't have that right now. Ryan Oliver's doing a heck of a job, doing the best he can. He can't guard 40 feet. He's a three-man. I'm just giving you, in other words, how do you get up on a guy and turn him and play and then run and press and play? Man, we don't have a point guard to do that right now. Kenny's getting a little tired, and Khalid Hart's a really good player. There's one of the best players in the league against my freshman, but we don't have that, so then my two, and then, you know, Levon took the first half off completely. It's my fault. He just wasn't good the first half, so I'll have to figure him out some more. Jamie and Brett have been doing it. Nico's been doing it. Ryan's stepping it up. Some other guys have to step it up. Not, it's, it can't be the same four guys replacing Marquise all the time. And I thought in the first half we were... We got caught a few times defensively and stuff. Some things didn't go our way in the first half and we didn't really react well. But yes, it was, like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't like, don't get me wrong, we didn't have a bad attitude. We weren't like open. Right? I just thought we'd be super excited to play on Super Bowl Sunday against Marist. Hey, great crowd, band, which one of our rivals and, you know...